So let's have assessment, but before we are to proceed, kindly like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So let's answer number one, but we will read first the instructions. Choose the letter of the best answer, write the chosen letter on the spirit sheet of paper. So number one, government worries both 100,000 units of television to be given to disabled persons in Quezon province. If the province has chosen X, disabled persons write a function which represents the relationship of the allotted unit of television per disabled person Y versus the total number of disabled persons. So Y is equal to 1000 divided by X. Okay, this is the answer. Now next, number two. Aling Nina cuts a rectangular cloth with a perimeter of 1,500 meters. Write the function which represents the, wide, the width Y of the cloth as a function of the length X. Okay, so we will be finding out the width and we will be having the length. So all you have to do is to write first the formula of the perimeter. Perimeter equals twice the sum of the length and width. Now we will be finding out the formula for the width. So we could divide this one by 2, divide this one by 2, that equals to P over 2, here is it, then transpose, afterwards transpose length to the left side, it becomes negative length, so P over 2 minus L equals width. Okay, since we will be representing width by Y and the length by X, so therefore Y is equal to 150 over 2 minus X, so this is our perimeter, 150 divided by 2, that's 75 minus x. So this is the answer, 75 minus x. Number 3, Mary Joy can bake a cake in 2 hours. Clarissa can do it in 4 hours. How long will it take them to bake a cake if they join together? Now join together, this is a work problem. So the part of the job done by Mary Joy in 1 hour and the part of the job done by Clarissa in 4 hours, that one, that is 1 fourth. So if the if we are going to add all the parts of the job they are doing is actually equal to part of the job done in one hour. If they are all together. Now this is the equation. Uh, we are to find its L C D least common denominator and it is eight x. So two times four, eight times x, that's eight x. So we will be multiplying eight x to the left side and the right side. Okay, so that's eight x. Okay, divided by 2, that's 4x, 4x. 8x divided by 4, that's 2x. Yeah, positive 2x. And 1x divided by 8x, cancel x, the answer is 8. Now, uh, 4x plus 2x equals 6x, equal to 8. By multiplication property of equality, divide both sides by 6, 6. So, x equal to 8 over 6, or 4 and 3, 4 over 3 hours. Or 1 and 1 third hours. Okay. James and Tony play billiard every weekend. So far, James has won 8 out of 14 matches. How many matches will James have to win in a row to improve his winning percentage to 80%? So the formula for this is, okay, how many matches? So X is the matches. So 8 plus X over 14 plus X equal to 80% or 4 fifth. Now, by cross product, we could multiply 5 times 8 plus X. 5 times 8 plus x and 4 times 14 plus x here. So distributive property 5 times 8, 40, 5 times x, 5x equals 4 times 14, that's 56, 4 times x, that's positive 4x. Okay, isolate x on the left side and transfer also isolate all constant on the right side also. So this would be 5x minus 4x is x, then 56 minus 40. 56 minus 40 is 16. So x is equal to 16. It's letter A. So number 5. In a jar, there are 10 blue marbles and 15 red marbles. A buyer wants to buy a jar of blue marbles and red marbles with a ratio greater than or equal to 4 is to 5 respectively. How many blue marbles must be needed in the jar in order to sell the marbles? So this ratio of 10 is to 15 is not equal to 4 is to 5. Since the customer is always right, we will... We, we we just uh, we should attend their needs all the time so the customer's uh, preference is 4 is to 5 is equal to this is the marble the blue marbles and is to 15 red marbles okay now you multiply 5 times x that's 5x 4 times 15 that's 60 so divide by 5 divided by 5 so x is equal to 12 
okay there should be 12 marbles but it has only 10 so therefore 12 minus 10 it needs to have two marbles more so add two marbles at least two marbles okay now number six nerissa was given two hours to walk for her morning exercise she plans to walk five kilometers at an average speed of three kilometers per hour how many kilometers more does she need to walk to spend at most two hours so we have here the time spent walking at of five kilometers is five over three since time is equal to distance over speed okay so five kilometers divided by three speed so time is equal to 1.67 hours for five kilometers now two hours he needs to walk for two hours given two hours so two hours minus 1.67 hours so the remaining hour of walking is 0.33 hours and this 0.33 hours so if we are to find the distance he could cover out on 0.33 hours that's distance is equal to speed times time so distance is equal to 3 times 0.33 so d equals 0.99 kilometers is less than or equal to 1 kilometer it's letter d number six we're done with this number seven nimby works as a vendor he earns daily wage of 100 pesos and an additional of five pesos for every two pieces of mango sold if x represents the number of mango sold write the function for his daily earning y daily earning is y as a function of the number of ma of mangoes sold x number of mangoes is x now uh, his wage is 100 pesos plus extra income 5 pesos for every two mangoes sold so this is number of mangoes divided by two so this is the function okay number eight using the problem in number seven if nimby sold 20 mangoes in a day how much money did he earn for that day so using the formula for number 7, y equals 100 plus 5 times quantity x over 2, where x is equal to 20, there are 20 mangoes sold. So y is equal to 100, substitute x by 20, that's 20 divided by 2, that's 10 times 5, that's 50. 50 times 50 plus 100, it's 150 pesos in all. It is his income in a day. Now number 9, boy traveled by train which moved at the speed of 30 miles per hour. He then boarded a bus that moved at the speed of 40 miles per hour. And reach its destination the entire distance covered was 100 miles and the entire duration of the journey was three hours find the distance it traveled by bus so there are two modes of transportation it is a bus and a train and riding in a train is slower than riding in a bus okay train okay distance by bus plus distance by train I he had covered out the boy covered out 100 miles so distance by bus distance by train equals 100 miles now we all know that it's 100 miles so for distance by bus so obviously we don't know it so it's x so distance by train is 100 minus x okay 100 minus x now time of bus plus time of train is equal to three hours so the riding in a bus time riding in a bus plus time riding in the train is all in all is three hours now time riding in a bus is equal to three hours minus train okay transpose this one that's negative 23 3 minus 3 hours minus the time riding in a train now we all know that this time equal to distance over speed now distance over speed express this time this t time in riding on a bus in a formula of distance over speed that's distance riding in a bus divided by speed of bus is equal to 3 minus distance riding in a train over speed of the train now distance riding on a bus is x and the speed of bus is 40 is equal to 3 minus uh, distance riding in a bus uh, in a train is 100 minus x here is it 100 minus x over 30 okay now this is the equation we are requiring now so this is a rational equation uh, this is an equation okay now find the lcd of 40 and 30 so the lcd is 120 30 times 40 is uh, 30 and 40 is 120 okay so we could multiply each of the side of the equation by 100, 120 and on the right side also by 120 so this one 
x over 40 times 120. So, 120 divided by 40, that's 3. 3 times x, that's 3x. Is equal to 120 times 3, that's 360. Okay, 120 times uh, divided by 30, that's 4. 4 times one, four times 100, negative 100, that's negative 400. And uh, 4 times uh, negative uh, 4 times x, that's 4x. Okay, again, again, 120 divided by 30, it's 4 times quantity 100 minus x. Here is it. So minus 4 times 100 minus x. So evaluate this one. Negative 4 times 100, that's 400. Negative 100, uh, 400. Then negative 4 times negative 4x, that's positive 4x. Okay. Now we transpose, isolate x on the left side. So transpose 4x to, to the left side, that becomes negative 4x. Here is it. It's equal to 360 minus 400. So negative x, 3x minus 4x is negative x is equal to 360 minus 400 is negative 40. Divided by negative, divided by negative. So our x is equal to 40 miles distance traveled by bus. So our x here, distance traveled by the bus is 40 miles. So in train, uh, distance traveled by train is 60 miles. Number 11, 7 divided by the sum of a number and 2 is equal to half the difference of the number and 3. Find all numbers. So, 7 divided by the sum of a number and 2. 7 divided by sum of a number and 2 is equal to half the difference of a number x and 3. So, this is the equation we are requiring. We will be finding out the LCD of x plus 2 and 2. So, the LCD is x plus 2 and 2 is 2 times x plus 2. So, multiply 2 times quantity x plus 2 on left and right side of the equation. So, divide this one. So, cancel, cancel. That's 2 times 5 is 14. Then, this one, the cancel out. So, x plus 2 times x minus 3. So, that is x plus 2. Here is it. Times x minus 3. So, it's 14 is equal to. So, when you multiply these two, it's actually equal to x squared minus x minus 6. So, transpose 14 to the right side and commutative property directly. So, x squared minus x minus 6 minus 14 is equal to 0. So, transpose, that becomes negative 14, equate it to 0. Okay, so x squared minus x, negative 6 and negative 14, that's negative 20 equal to 0. Factor out negative 20, so that's negative 20 is equal to negative 5 and times positive 4. Wherein, if we combine its factor, is equal to negative 1 here. So, this is the factor. So, we'll be using negative 5 and 4. So, x minus 5 times x plus 4. Equate x minus 5 to 0. x minus 5 equal to 0. So, x equal to 5. Equate x plus 4 equals 0. And x equals negative 4. So, the answer is 5 and negative 4. It's letter C. Number 12. Mayor Ilyazar solicited 500,000 pesos to be given to the families affected by typhoon Ambo. If he plans to give at least 10,000 pesos for each of the family, 100 families, how much more money does he need to solicit? Okay, so it's 10,000 times 100, that is 1 million. He, need to have, he needs to have 1 million. So, since he has already 500,000, so 1 million minus 500,000, so he needs to solicit at least. 500,000. Okay, number 13. A box with a square base and no top is to be constructed so that it has a volume of 1,000 cubic centimeters. Let x denote the width of the box in centimeters. Express the height h in centimeters as a function of the width x. So, in other way of saying, find the height using the width, which is x. Okay. Now, we all know that the volume of a box is equal to length times width times height. And to find the height, that's length, height is equal to volume equals to length times width. So this is our height. Height is equal to the volume, which is 1,000 divided by length times width. Since length is equal to width, since we are referring to a square base, so therefore, h of x is equal to 1,000 divided by x squared. It's letter A. Number 14, Yan Yan got an average of grade of 91 on her four subjects. What must be her grade on the fifth subject to get an average of 92? So here is it. Now, when you'll be getting the average, you are to add all four 
divided by 4, the answer is 91. So this is the same as, the average of 91 is the same as 4 times 91 divided by 4. Since we will be adding another grade, so there are 4 grades already and its average is 91 plus x over 5. Cross product, 5 times 92, that's 460. So 4 times 91, that's 364 plus x equals 460. Now, transpose 364 to the right side, that becomes 460 minus 364, so x is equal to 96. So, he should have, uh, she should have a 96 uh, rating on the fifth subject, so that he can have a 92% average. Okay, number 15, the area of a triangle of a rectangle is x squared plus x minus 10. If it has a side of length of 2x minus 4, then... The width can be represented by the expression. So area is equal to length times width. So we will be finding out the width. So width is equal to so area divided by length. So width is equal to our area is x squared plus 3x minus 10. Our length is 2x minus 4. So width is equal to uh, factor out this one. Its factor is quantity x plus 5 times x minus 2 divided by factor out also this one. The common monomial factor is 2. 2 times quantity x minus 2. Then... You could cancel out this one, x minus 2. So, width is equal to x plus 5 over 2. And it is letter C. Thank you very much.